Hello guys, welcome back to Minecraft. Um, I know I said there was a bunch of stuff that I did that I tried to record last time and the videos failed. So I'm going to go over most of it. As you can see, I've built a bigger house. For, that was one of the first things I did. I moved my cobblestone generator to the back over here. My you can see I laid in a path. Still kind of working on my paths, but I built a. I moved my fountain over here. I went out. I did a lot of resource gathering. Oh God, these sound are annoying. I collected a bunch of wood. You may have seen over in the corner. There's some trees growing. I did label almost everything. I've this is kind of how I'm going to have things set up. I did move. I have water in here now. In case I need it. Yeah. I got to figure out what's going on with my audio. As soon as I plug in these headphones, everything is echo. Hey. None of this has changed, though it will soon, well, except for this dirt. I kind of leveled it all out for the sake of building my paths and everything. Today I'm going to be building something right here for my nether portal, which I did go out, I collected a bunch of stuff, I still have my armor. As you can see, my farm is doing very, very well. I think it's about time I... oh, I left my door open. I think it is breeding time too. I got 15 eggs. <laughs> Swarmer of the chickens. Chicken swarm anyone? Who gets it? Mm. Should have a lot of baby chickens in here now. Okay. Mm. Yeah, I'm going to. What I want to do. I'm out of eggs. Okay. Get out of here. You. You're supposed to stay in there. So, you die. These guys make it a little bit easier. I can feed them over the fence. Doesn't work quite as well, but they still get fed. Okay, <laughs> after I finish the nether stuff, I'm going to uh, start uh, killing off animals. I've got way too many chickens. I am way. Uh, one thing I did was I went out and I went back down into the caves, picked up a lot of 
coal, iron. Oh, in a second I'm going to show you the inside of my house that I built there. Picked up a lot of coal, iron, I stocked out a bunch of a bunch of sand up here. I've got some gravel, glass. I will actually be using the gravel for multiple reasons. I picked up a couple of stacks of coal and I picked up a lot of iron. I found some more diamond. And when I say I picked up a lot of iron, I mean I picked up a lot of iron. I made a ton of backups on my tools that I use. And I really go crazy on my tools. So. I did pick up like some gold. I need to go back and pick up a little bit more. Because I have a fun little room building over here. But this is my house. I have a nice big open floor. You'll see there's a ladder down here in the corner. But. There's this room, which is where I'm sleeping right now. I have an armor stand, which I'm going to slowly work on building a set of diamond armor that I'm going to throw on there. But I have a room down in this little spot. In my test world, this is where I actually have like a furnace and a crafting bench, but I'm throwing just armor suits on stands down here, just for the hell of it. See, you can see I'm still working on the gold one. doesn't have a chest plate. I have one little chest over there which I've been using kind of for everything that I need to build. This is the second floor. It has nice big open space again. And it has a balcony that I can see out everything out in front of my base. You can see my little tree farm over there. I have right there is some oak, birch, some spruce. And what you kind of see right there behind that birch tree is actually a dark oak tree. I kind of like the look of the dark oak, but I'm not really going to use it much since everything else is regular oak. Yeah, that's my new house. But I'm going to sleep and I will get to building. As you can see, I got a bunch of resources and stuff. I'm going to get to building my nether portal. I will have a structure. I I also made some maps. I'll explain those in a minute. I'll get rid of those. I'll put them over here. You can see I've got a lot of food. Well, I guess I can explain the maps really quick. I made myself two maps. One of them is just kind of a a quick one. It's well, that's not the quick one. I have a, this is my like full-on exploration map up at the upper right part of that stuff that I have explored. That green just past the brown, there's a, there's a village up there, but it's not really much of a village because it's, I think, three villagers. There's a blacksmith, a church, and a house. No farm, nothing. It wasn't much of anything of a village. I think I got two iron ingots out of the chest in there. That was it. I think other than that, it was a loaf of bread. So wasn't wasn't really worth the hour of exploration trying to find it. But then I also have this one, which you can see my base up there in the corner. And out here, somewhere in the middle of this bay, I'm hoping there is one of the new water dungeons. I want to go explore one of those eventually. Not really a big target to go do, but if there's one there, yay. If there's not, oh well. This was kind of my uh, map to show me what's immediately about around my base, and it didn't quite work out the way I planned. But okay. I'm going to sleep and then. I will start building my... Uh, for now, I'm just going to build the bottom, like the main floor. I'm not going to build the rest of the structure because I'm still trying to collect enough wood to do it. I 
I do want to keep the uniform look and with the newer updates it's gotten kind of annoying because I can't sit here and mix and match wood to make the stairs all the same and that kind of annoys the hell out of me so I'm gonna work on this I shall be back when I'm done Okay, so I've got, you can see the building I'm going to make around it is actually rather large. It's also fairly tall, i got to make sure I don't kill myself building it, but I did, I am going to build my nether portal on a little raised platform. So these are the corners of my platform, they don't go there, but I can stay. I loved when they added that feature in where stairs will wrap around corners now. It made my design so much better. At least in my opinion. I got this, this, this. I don't know if I'm going to go into the nether in this video. I may wait until the next one. I don't know yet. Oh, I should have kept some of that dirt. nether portal. You can see I did make a clock. I was just trying to find a way to waste my resources. I have quite a few of them. And lots to spare. I do have some ender pearls somewhere. I uh, have, I think, four. So I have plenty to start going into the nether. Start collecting them for eyes of ender. So now I'm just going to start kind of clearing this out because this is just ridiculous. Start over here. get myself down to two sheep. Hey, <laughs> right, I'm down to two sheep. I did manage to push a couple of 
pigs into their into my pen for them. I don't have anything to breed them with yet because I don't have any carrots. As soon as I get carrots, I'm gonna make room for them in my wheat farm. I'm gonna add them in there. Okay, I'm gonna clear out some cows. Two cows, two sheep, two pigs. Mm. Now the real fun part. Chickens. Oh yeah, lots of mm. This may take a while. down to three. And I might as well just break all these eggs. <sighs> that was a lot of chickens. I do have to do that periodically to uh, keep my computer from lagging so much. Otherwise, I end up where I had this thing as full as you could possibly imagine with chickens. You could not see any of the grass underneath. You could not see that fence post. You couldn't see the water. You could just see a bobbing pile of chickens. And it shows when I cleared out all my inventory stuff. <laughs> Even this time I got 30 chickens. So let's see. I have over here... Yes. 24 plus the 23 of her... I have on me, plus I've already eaten probably about 20. <laughs> so I killed about twice as many as I just did. Uh, let's get some of this stuff cooking. If anyone's wondering, I do have over here, I am keeping the feathers and flint separate because as I said when I started this let's play, I plan on going all the way through to the end where I have to fight the ender dragon. Am I doing that right? and my method to fighting the ender dragon is going to be arrows arrows and more arrows for now well for now I could change my mind on that I don't know But 
Actually, I think I will go into the nether. Just so I can see what's over there. But I think for the sake of uh, me wanting to do it and not really waste a lot of time wait waiting for me to collect my resources I'm gonna leave my nether portal kinda open to the elements for now you can see I'm working on collecting everything for it I need a bit more stuff uh, that was all the obsidian that's all the stone I need more wood planks I should have plenty of stairs now. But I need about a a hundred and twenty more wood planks. And I actually do need all of that to just be wood. I'm pretty meticulous about my designs. So let's see. We're all set? Yep. Let's take our first step into the nether. Come on. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Awesome. Put me in a little tunnel. Uh, it could get easy to list, get lost in these fire, in these tunnels. I don't say it often enough. I love the nether. As much as it tries to blow me up, I love the nether. Lava, soul sand, glowstone, netherrack, quartz, pig zombies, mushrooms. Just because I can. Let's do some quick scouting in here. I'm gonna come check out this corner. I don't want to travel too far because I don't want to encounter any ghasts quite yet. Same to you wherever you are. Oh, you must be underneath me. Uh, I do have to love how in the nether that looked kind of funny there in the nether there's not very many hostile mobs I mean you have the ghasts you have blaze and magma cubes Get the armored skeleton that's seeing something right there. That's yeah, just more netherite. So it looks like I'll have to adventure to try to find my way to a <coughs> stronghold. I'm gonna end up right. No, I did not mean to do that. Same to you. Nope. Looks like there's the end of a stronghold right there. I just have to find my way over to it. <coughs> I'm 
not here to cause you any trouble, damn it. Just let me be. Ah, oh, shit. Yeah, crap. Whoa. I went the wrong way. I don't feel like playing with a guest right now, so... I'm going to kind of, uh... That was not what I wanted to do. Does that freaking hurt? This is a deep freaking hole. That goes nowhere. Yeah, might as well. Might use it for a decoration or something. Get a lot of experience. Stay away from the hole. Thanks to that damn hole, I have no idea where I'm going. Send to you. Okay, now I know where I am. So, looks like I'll have quite an adventure for me next time when I try to make my way over to that stronghold. But for now I'm just gonna head back. I'm not yet ready to go exploring in here um, because I didn't really bring enough stuff. I don't know what's down this way. Glowstone. Oh, I was trying to get to that side. Because I like glowstone, I might incorporate it into one of my next designs. <coughs> or maybe I'll use it to light up a little building I make here in the nether. I don't know. I don't know yet. But that will be next week. Hello. Right here. But for now, back to the world. Back to the overworld. Okay, so 
next time we will be adventuring into the nether we will try to make my way to that stronghold for now I have a small collection of quartz nether rack and I picked up a couple mushrooms and a bunch of glowstone dust I'll see if I can have this structure finished by the time we come back and yeah I guess that's it for now so I'll see you next time